Howdy, howdy, howdy. Welcome to another mud fossil adventure. Okay, I'm getting ready to show you some mud fossilized. It'd be endoplasmic reticulum, which is on the part of a cell. Outside, the, surrounds the outside of the nucleus and stuff. It'd be this part right here. And you're going to be seeing it. This stuff right here, it's enlarged. You're going to be seeing it in what I'm getting ready to show you right now. So I can, I can explain it a little bit better to you. Okay, this is all them cells. These are, like I just showed you right in that, just a minute ago. These are all cells. This whole thing is just loaded with round, they're round spheres, but they're, they're cells. And I'm going to show you, I'll be able to zoom in on some here and show you what we're looking at. Okay, so if you, if you notice, like up here in the left-hand corner, you're going to see all these layers right here around this piece right here see these layers right here and I'm going to show you some more right over here see these layers right in here and then this round orb right here and there's more layers right in here and this this is that what I just showed you just now that was enlarged in that illustration. You can see it better here. Oopsie. Come on, focus. Alright. See all them layers right here? And right below it. These bigger layers, these these all these right in here. And then we're gonna bounce over to here. See those little oh, darn it, come on. Alright, you can see you have more layers right in here. And then you got this big round piece right there. That's the cell towards the nucleus of the cell, and that's that um, that's that endo endoplasmic whatever you call it right there. And then you go right above it, and you see all the layering around this one right here. So that's what these are. These are this is not a sedimentary deposit. Now I'll show you something here real quick. There's more layers. That that's we're getting down to the nucleus right down here, the cell. And that's that those layerings right there that I just showed you in the illustration. And now a lot of this is eroded off, you know. But this is one hundred percent biological now that we've figured out what it is. Now I remember I broke I broke a piece off and I brought it home and I showed it in the previous video. But notice the material it's made out of. Okay, the cells are made out of collagen. The bodies are made out of pretty much 100% collagen and keratins. Everything. I mean, bone is collagen. I mean, blood cells, the lining are, are collagen. There's 26 or 28 different types of collagen. Now notice this material is all, see that material is all pretty much the same. Now this whole, all these balls are made out of this. There's no way this is a sedimentary deposit that just formed all these balls out of this material. It just was really smart, you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not intelligent dirt, or whatever you call it. But this is transition into what you see right here, that material. And it's all the same. It's identical. Every bit of it. So this is the, what the collagen is transitioned into is what you're seeing right there. This used to be a collagen of some kind. And it's transitioned into what you're looking at right there. The whole piece. Every bit of this. And in other words, pretty much that whole thing, all them balls and that, everything in there is pretty much the same material. Now there's no way that would be a sedimentary deposit and everything's identical. And there's no way all that what I just showed you would form into these round balls and these spheres with these layerings on the outside like that with a solid center with a nucleus. You understand? There's more right there. There's a bigger one right there and all the layering on the outside of it with a solid center nucleus. And I'm not sure what the red dot is. A lot of them have a red dot there on them too. So I'm not sure. 
Look at that one there. And that's the center of it. I don't know what's going on with these two. But look at the outside of it. I mean, why would it, why would it form that way? It's because it's biological. And it's all transition. See, there's that material again that I told you about. It's all pretty much the same. And all I looked under a microscope at all that black stuff, remember? I thought it might have been, you know, deoxygenated blood or something, but I, you know, I just, I just don't know. More of it there, still that same material. Okay, now they, this is laying right beside tendon balls. So I have a reference to go from of the tendon balls. Plus, not too far away is the bi... Sorry, I cut the camera off. Not too far away is the bilipid membrane. Okay, here are the tendon balls that are just right across the little crick from the cells I just showed you. And these are tendon balls. They're a lot bigger. They're six feet across, three and a half feet tall, a minimum. Some are bigger. That one over there, that one over there that's still buried is bigger than the one we're looking at right, right here, right now, right there. And I don't know how many are buried in the sand here we can't see. I mean, these things are massive. Got a ridge line around them. An equatorial ridge line. See that? Look at that pattern. Completely different material. See, see, it's not made of the same material. You notice that these are not made of the same material. We just looked at with the cells, completely different material, different pattern. Don't have the onion effect, you know, not in the layering like the other ones or nothing. About ten miles away, you got this massive bilipid membrane, and those cells. I don't know if they go down to this one or not, but they're you know, they're about the size they should be using this as a reference point for the size of a membrane compared to the cells. Alright, so I'm going to wrap it up. That's going to make this a shorter video, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, you're living on biology. We all are. It's not geological creation from 5 billion years of evolutionary volcanism. It's something God's done that just to prove you, hey, God's real and you better be looking for him. All right, have a great day. Bye-bye now.